Two circles are said to be touching if they intersect at a single point. To investigate if two circles C1 and C2 are touching, we need to calculate the center and the radius, so the radius being R1 of C1, which is circle 1, and the center and the radius, or R2, of circle 2. And we also need to find the distance D between the centers of the two circles. So there's two ways in which two circles can be touching. They can be touching externally or they can be touching internally. So this diagram shows us two circles C1 and C2 and they are touching externally. There is a point there, one point at which they touch and we can see that it is collinear with their two centers. So that basically means that the point at which they touch and the two centers, the three points, all lie in a straight line. Circles can also touch internally. So we can see here C1 is the larger circle and C2 is the smaller circle and that circle is actually inside of the bigger circle. So they are touching internally. So touching externally, touching internally. Okay, so if circles are touching externally, Two circles touch externally if one circle lies entirely outside the other with the exception of the single point of intersection. That would be that point of intersection right there. So C1 and C2 touch externally if R1 plus R2 is equal to D. So that means the radius of circle 1 plus the radius of circle 2 is equal to the distance between the two centers. So if we work out the two radii of circles and then we work out the distance between their center points and when we add together the two radii if they're equal to the distance then we know that the circles touch externally. So it's important to learn this off. Okay so if circles are touching internally now. Two circles touch internally if one circle lies entirely inside the other, with the exception of the single point of intersection. So the point of intersection would be right here, and again it is collinear with the center of circle 2 and the center of circle 1. So they are all collinear. So that means they lie in a straight line. So circle 1 and circle 2 touch internally if the radius 1 minus radius 2 gives us the distance between the center points. Where R1 is greater than R2, so radius 1 is greater than radius 2. So again you need to learn this off by heart. So if you find the radius of two circles and you subtract one from the other, and that leaves you with the distance between the two center points, then you know that these two circles touch internally.